For our third story, we go to Jefferson, Wisconsin. Jefferson is a small community of 7,700 people. It's nestled where the Rock and the Crawfish Rivers meet. The city was first settled in 1836, and every September they roll out their strong German heritage and celebrate Gemutlichkeit Days. Rosemary Kennedy, sister of President John F. Kennedy, once lived in this wonderful small town. Here we cut up to a man who has found himself on an amazing journey through his family's history and his personal connection to past Jefferson manufacturing. It all began with the death of his grandfather in 1978. Hello, my name is Jeff Haberman from Jefferson, Wisconsin. In, uh, well, the motorcycle sitting behind us is my uh, 1914 Jefferson, and it's from Jefferson, Wisconsin here. It's got the, the Mac V-Twin in it. And that motorcycle is pretty futuristic of the time with its, you know, overhead valves, twin cam. And it was 78 miles an hour right from the factory. And the unique thing about the Jefferson was her quarter elliptical suspension. And we all thought that Perry Mack was actually the engineer behind it. But after, you know, researching it and digging out the patent drawings, it was actually Frank Kalichko. He, de he designed that suspension and that was one of their big selling points of the smooth ride that the Jefferson had. And... You know, a, you know, a lot of guys thought it was, it was a pretty sweet, sweet ride. And uh, on some of the racers, you know, they took the suspension off. They felt that it, it, it worked a little nicer. And it's pretty incredible that on that machine there that they put so much of an investment of all the nickel plating on, on, on the machine. But, you know, nickel wasn't too expensive back then. Well, when I was growing up as, as a kid, we always had a few motorcycles around the backyard. We lived right by the fair park, so it's like there's always action going on, and we built mini bikes, and we tried crazy combinations, and I had, I had a, a couple Hondas and a stubborn old Brigstone, and, and, and it, was, it, it was always cool. My cousins would come over, and they, they always knew that there's motorcycles for everybody to ride, you know, and, and it wasn't until 1978, it, it, you know, my grandpa grandfather's funeral that, you know, we're cleaning out the house and my dad says hey you want grandpa's photo album and he hands it to me and I, I i open it up and i go i never knew that grandpa was into motorcycles all the times we sat around and you know talked and i open it up and i go well what are these i never even heard of the jefferson and and that just started me on a, a, a journey that just is I, I see no end to it that it's like i keep coming up with more photograph blueprints and in, in in stories that it's just such an incredible story. I, I don't I don't know you know where it's ever ever going to end. You know, and I guess I wasn't happy until I, you know, I could finally get a, a get a bike myself. And you know, we displayed it and had it in museum, and it's it's, it's really turned out to be a incredible journey. In 2006, we went to Davenport and debuted the Jefferson that's behind me right here. And, and one of the guys, he, he was talking, he says, he says, you know, Perry Mack's son is still alive. And, and we're, we're all thinking, he's got to be a pretty old man for Perry Mack's son. And I go, well, I'm going to look him up when I get back from Davenport. And I got a, got a hold of him and I asked him, I said, I says, you know, Bill, have you ever seen one of the machines that your dad built? Because they were just something just out of this world in the time. And he was so excited when I told him, I said, I'm going to bring it up and show it to you because to me, I wanted to have a picture of my bike, you know, with the engineer's son. And I took it up there. And, and when, when we unloaded in his driveway, you, you know, words can't explain the expression on, on Bill Mack's face. You know, to see that bike, and it, it was just so incredible. And they always say that good things happen to people that, you know, do good things. Well, Bill Mack told me, he says, he says, you know, my dad had that single cylinder engine he said that he just never wanted to get rid of it. It was just one oddball little engine. It must have been his favorite engine. He says, I wonder if the guy that he gave his his trophy and stuff to still has it. So with that, it's like I tracked down that engine, and it's like that's what we're actually going to put together for in the Jefferson Museum to replace this one here that's going to the Mid-America Auctions is is a little, you know, single-cylinder machine that kind of started it all off before they come up with the big V-twin. If, if, if this motorcycle sells in, in Las Vegas, which I hope it goes to a really good home of a, like a big museum with like a lot of people that visit it so a lot of people can enjoy it, you know, the, then I want to, you know, put together from all the knowledge that I have on, on this bike, that that little Perry Mac single that I got from, you know, Mac's son, you know, tipped me off on. 
And I think, you know, then we'll have something again in Jefferson at our museum and maybe the V-twin here will go to somewhere big where everyone can enjoy it. We're paying particular attention to the Jefferson today because this is the first time in living memory that a Jefferson has come up for public sale at an auction. And the bike is so important in American motorcycle history and so rare. Uh, it's great that we're here today together to see sort of the next chapter of the Jefferson motorcycle unfolding as it goes up on the stage to be auctioned off. Thanks for watching our show. If you enjoy what you saw today, please check us out at ClassicMotorcycleRoadshow.com or you can find us on Facebook.